Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyOT's video on how to install Windows 8.1 on a MacBook Air or any Mac without a DVD drive. Okay guys, so I've had a whole heap of people on the 123myot.com website ask me how do I install Windows 8.1 on my Mac if I don't have a DVD drive. Okay, so the first thing we need to do guys is just identify what type of Mac we're using. So if we go to Apple and go about this Mac and then click on more info, and you can see here, I've got a MacBook Air 11 inch early 2014s. And the next step to uh, install uh, Windows 8.1 is to find out uh, what uh, version of Windows is supported on my particular model of Mac or MacBook Air, whatever Mac you're talking about. The easiest way to do that, guys, is to open up a web browser, go to the 123myit.com website, Hover over the Mac menu and then go to your model of Mac. So, for example, I'm going to go down to MacBook Air because I have a MacBook Air. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says MacBook Air 11 inch early 2014. And it may not even be on here yet. As you can see, it's, a, it's one of the latest models, so I would assume that I can install Windows 8 64-bit and Windows 7 64-bit, and these are the versions of Boot Camp that I can use. Okay, so uh, the next step is to get yourself a, a copy of Windows. Now, on the 123MyIT website, if you scroll back to the top, click on Downloads and scroll down to where it says Windows 8.1 preview downloads. Now this is a preview copy, so it means after one month it will ask you to upgrade. So you can use that for the time being, see how it goes on your Mac. If it works okay, then uh, you, you know you can choose to buy it or, you, or, if it, or if you don't like it, you can choose to just get rid of it, delete it. Okay, so what you would do here, so because it installs a 64-bit, I would go ahead and download this 64-bit version if for whatever uh, it says on the page there that you install a 32-bit, there's your 32-bit copy here. So I've actually gone ahead and downloaded a 32-bit copy of the Windows Blue there. This is the serial key that I will use shortly. Uh, this is called an ISO file. You can see at the end there it's got .iso. So you can actually burn this to a DVD and if you had a physical DVD you could install it without any problems. Um, okay, so what we need to do now, we've got our Windows uh, Blue uh, ISO file from the website. Now we also will need, because we need somewhere to uh, install this uh, Windows Blue ISO file, so we also have uh, a USB drive here, and this is the USB um, drive. We're going to go up to the uh, Finder menu, type in Boot Camp, and run the Boot Camp Assistant. Go continue, okay, and it will say here now under the Boot Camp Assistant menu, it says Boot Camp Assistant will help you perform one or more of the following tasks. Select all the tasks that you need to perform, okay. So if you already have a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 uh, installed disk on a USB, um, if we go back here real quick, I've actually got, there's actually some videos on the 123MyIT website, so uh, Windows... USB, if we do a search, and we scroll down, how to create a bootable Windows 7, 8 USB on a Mac, how to create a bootable Windows 8.1 USB. Okay, pretty straightforward guys, so if you, if you get stuck, just go and do a search on the 123MyIT website. However, this will actually allow us to create uh, a USB, and we're going to do that now. Um, so we've got create a Windows 7 or later version install disk. Okay, so we've got that. And uh, grayed out here is download the latest support software from Apple. Now it says here, the support software designed specifically for each Mac is required to fully support Windows and includes bootcamp drivers that let you use your Apple keyboard, mouse, trackpad, built-in camera. If you are if you create a Windows 7 or later version of the installed disk from a USB drive, the support software is copied to it. Otherwise, you need an external drive formatted in MS-DOS FAT. Okay, 
a um, bit long-winded, but essentially you need another disk to uh, download this software. Now this software here, where it says download the latest support software from Apple, is exactly the same, Oops, scroll back to the top, as this software here on the 123MyIT website. So if you ever get stuck, you can actually come in here and download the software at a later stage. So we're not too worried about that downloading at the moment. Uh, and ticked, we've got install, a la uh, install Windows 7 or a later version. Okay, so we're going to hit continue here. All right, now create a bootable USB drive for Windows installation. So it says here, to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 7 or later version installation, select the Windows ISO image, select a USB drive, and then can click continue. Okay, so we can see here now, it's actually gone ahead because I've copied that uh, ISO file. So when I went to the 123MyIT website, clicked on downloads, all right, I've gone down, I've clicked on here, and I've downloaded this version of uh, Windows Blue, and you can see it's downloading there. I'll just cancel that now because I don't actually need it. Once it's once it's downloaded, copy that to your desktop, and then the Apple uh, Boot Camper system is smart enough to actually pick it up. So you can see there, Windows Blue, client, dash client, and if we scroll across there, you can see it's the 64-bit edition, and it's the ISO file. So we don't need to choose anything, guys. It's all, all picks it up and uh, starts working. So destination disk is our media and that's the correct one there. So we're just gonna go continue. All right, so it's saying that the, the drive will be erased, okay? So it's talking about this USB drive. So if you've got anything on there, just make sure you uh, copy it off or do a backup before you go to this next step. And guys, before attempting all this stuff uh, or any of the videos online, you should always make sure that your, your data is safe, you've got copies of it, you've backed it up, etc., etc. All right, so we'll hit continue. All right, you can see how the drive's disappeared there now. So it's formatting the drive and it's calling it, calling it win install. Now this uh, USB drive, I believe you can get away with a four gigabyte USB drive. Otherwise at the moment I'm using an eight gigabyte uh, drive. So you need uh, four gigabytes or larger. Okay guys, so it's just downloaded the Windows support software there, and now it looks like it's saving the Windows support software to the same USB. So we'll see what happens next. Okay, so it pops up for your password, so just type that in. Go add helper. Okay, now this is the important part guys. So uh, on the MacBook Air here we have 128 gig drive, and uh, what it's asking us to do now is how much space do we want to give Windows? and how much space do we want to give OS X. Um, normally I would recommend just divide it equally. That way you'll have um, space for your Windows partition and enough space for your OS X. However, if you decide that you're going to be using a lot of Windows and you're going to be using Windows more often, then I would suggest you drag it back this way. If you decide that you're only going to be using Windows a little bit and you're going to be using OS X mainly, then I would leave it leave it like this. If you divide it, basically it, it, it takes away space from one or the other. So if you if you move it all the way across here, you can see it's now 20, 20 gig for your Windows and 100 gig for OS X. If you move it all the way this way, you can see it's only 43 now and 77 uh, for Windows. All right, so I'm gonna go divide equally for now and click install. So what it will do now is it'll actually divide and set up this Windows uh, partition here. So you should have two partitions when you restart your Mac now. And just a reminder guys, make sure that you, before you follow any of these videos, make sure you do a backup first, just in case anything goes wrong, you've always got your data uh, backed up and uh, make sure it's uh, safe. Okay, so now we've got the Windows 8 um, splash screen to come up and language to install English, United States, time and currency. I'm gonna change that over to uh, English Australia. 
and US keyboard uh, or method. Now some people actually have problems uh, moving the mouse at this stage. If you do, make sure you get an external mouse and just pop it into the USB on the side and then you'll be able to go to the next step. All right, so hit next. Now we'll need that uh, product key that you can get from the 123MyIT website. So we'll type that in now. So we've just put the serial key in there and then we hit next. So this is the Windows 8.1 Pro Preview, so we're gonna hit next again. Accept the terms and agreements and hit next. All right, click on the boot camp partition and we wanna click on format and click okay. All right, so this is the partition that we set up for Windows. Okay, once that's done, we wanna hit next. And you'll see there's a 1% on the installation now, it's up to 2%. Now this should, uh, on the later, later Macs, with the uh, solid the SSD drives in them, uh, it, it will actually go through quite quickly. Um, however, if you're using older Macs, uh, it might take more time. So let's say installation time should take no longer than maybe five to 15 minutes. All right, it says Windows needs to restart to continue. Restarting in five seconds, or we can click restart now. Let's just click restart now. Okay, so it's come up now, and you can personalize it, so you can change the colors if you want. Let's change it to a bright red. And PC name, we'll call it 123MyIT, and then hit, hit next. All right, we're just gonna use Express Settings. It says put in a username, put in 123, space my, space IT, and finish. Finalizing your settings. Okay guys, so we're almost finished here. Uh, this is the Boot Camp installer, and it says you will be guided through the steps necessary to install Boot Camp. To get started, click Next, okay? So if we hit Next, accept the terms and agreements, hit Install, okay? So what it's actually doing now, guys, is it's installing all the drivers which make all your buttons and uh, everything work with uh, Windows. So it will make all your uh, Windows software work properly with your Mac, okay? So for example, now it's installing the NVIDIA driver, um, which is a graphics driver, installing the keyboard and the mouse, installing Bluetooth. So it's installing all the drivers to make Windows work with your Mac hardware. It says the Bootcamp installer has completed. Bootcamp has been successfully installed on your computer. Click finish to quit this installer. Okay, it says you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to Bootcamp services to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart later. So let's just go no for now. See there now that we've got Windows started up. And there you go, bang. So we've got our Windows 8 installed. You can see my user is up the top there. And I just really quickly wanna check the um, de uh, device manager. And you can see that all the drivers have been installed uh, for this Mac. So if we do a restart now, and power, uh, restart. Let's see what happens when we do a restart. Okay guys, so it's restarted there now, and let's see if our sound buttons work. Okay. Yep, so it seems the drivers and everything is working. Uh, touchpad, so if I move the mouse around, go back to the desktop, go back to the start bar, it's all working now. Okay, if we go across here. Now let's just say you wanted to get back to OS X. What you could do is you could right click in your corner here, go down to control panel, go into system and security, and down the bottom you'll see boot camp here. Click on boot camp. We just wanna go yes. Okay, and it says boot camp control panel. Select the system you want to use to start your computer. Okay, so we've got Macintosh here, or we've got Windows. So let's say we always want Windows to start up. We can click on this button here, or if we always want Macintosh 
OSX to start up, we can click on this one and go apply and then it will always restart. If for some reason you want to restart, you, you don't click these and you want to restart OSX, what you do is, let's just say this was shut down and restarted. If you hold down your option key on your keyboard and you restart your computer, okay, and you will come up with uh, this menu here, okay. So as you can see here, this is our Windows, that's the, the partition we just installed. We want to go across and let's say I wanted to restart in Macintosh again and I want to see my OSX and all my files again, I can just go across to that menu, press return on the keyboard and bang, I'm back to my OS, OSX menu and I'm back to my OSX desktop. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.